It's still in Ontario, but a little bit further up north. It probably doesn't look that rocky, but uh, the arms are really getting jarred through most of this terrain. It's a really good exercise actually, the, the carpal tunnel is pretty bad at the moment with riding every day. And uh, this is really good training for learning to grip the bike a lot and just have the hands resting on the handlebars or the hands just go numb. Get a cross trainer and nothing can stop it except this hill. First 20 minutes today the, the hands were numb, which made for pretty bad control. So of course if you've got steg pegs like me and you're cheating, <laughs> it's pretty easy. But otherwise you want to be gripping the bike with your knees to take that pressure off your upper body. Because in this jarring stuff, the natural tendency is to hang onto the bars too hard. And most of us will have had arm pump at some stage or the claw, the cramping hand. So uh, yeah, just slow down a fraction and see if you can focus on keeping the hands nice and loose. Steg pegs are an Australian invention. So there were heaps of questions about them while I was in Canada. The biggest question was, should I get a pair? Which is hard to answer. The good news is they help to anchor your body into the default body position for standing. When you accelerate, you need to grip the bike firmly with your knees so that your arms don't get too tired trying to hang onto the bike. Oh my God, what's going on here? We're, we're breaking it in. Apparently, this is a tradition in um, Canuck land. <laughs> That's how we break in a new bike. <laughs> Thanks, mate. <laughs> The good thing about steg pegs is that it is much easier to grip the bike, reducing the fatigue for your legs and arms as well. Oh, Deb! And if you're going down a very steep hill, you just stop gripping the bike and let your legs slide past the rubber pucks if needed. Hey, apparently this is Quinn's Hill. Work. Personally, I've found steg pegs have been fantastic for easing the pressure on arthritic fingers, reducing the effects of arm pump and carpal tunnel syndrome, and encouraging me to use the correct body position when standing on the bike. But the problem is top riders and coaches discourage the use of steg pegs. They say you should learn the correct technique of simply gripping the bike firmly with your knees. Also, as your technique improves, they say you will learn to shift your foot position on the foot pegs to suit the terrain. But steg pegs tend to make you just ride on the arches of your feet instead of moving around on the foot pegs. I won't argue with guys who ride way better than me <laughs> and know a lot more too. And the thing is, they are right. If you are young, fit, and aim to go a long way with your riding technique, then you will be better off simply learning to grip the bike with your knees. Ah, uh, still buddy dabbing. And yes, the steg pegs tend to limit you by encouraging you to only ride on the arches of your feet. Yeah, up yours too, buddy. If you do ride on the balls of your feet, the rubber pucks usually can't slide back far enough to provide support in that position. 
So the steg pegs will encourage you to not change your foot position at all. You gotta know when you're in Canuck land. Sorry. 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 But having said that, we aren't all young and fit. And many of us are facing issues like tendonitis, old injuries, arm pump and arthritis. Recently I did a video about whether bar risers are evil because top riders generally discourage their use. My personal take was that the top riders are correct but that many of us are happy to make compromises when it comes to anything that provides some more comfort, even if it might limit our meagre performance. Oh my God, I'm being overtaken. These hoses are just too fast for me. Final thing, most of us love our steg pegs, but a small percentage of guys buy them, then wind up hating them. Look, they are expensive, but it should be possible to rig up a cheap copy by cutting some bits of alloy sheet and just bolt some rubber door stops on. This should give you an idea of whether you'll like them or not before shelling out your hard-earned cash. It's the wild mountain man of Canada. Okay, first swim in a Canadian lake and this isn't bad at all.